Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Joe Campbell of Terra X Minerals Inc. How are you today? Not too bad. It's been a good day. Joe, you picked up one of the six major high-grade gold camps in Canada, and I'd like to know how Terra X managed to do this. Well, we uh, had an opportunity to look at a company that had gone into bankruptcy, and uh, I asked for what uh, assets they had, and the core of this project was available in that uh, sale. And uh, at the time, it was a, a slow time in the gold industry, and uh, we picked it up for a very good price. Okay, well, if it was that easy, everybody would do that. So I think that's a bit of an understatement. And speaking of understatements, in the last year, you managed to raise $5.2 million in funding when nobody else could get anything from the well. What made TerraX so compelling that you managed to get people to write checks? Well, the project is one that has very high grade. So it, it, it attracts uh, investment to it. And we had uh, developed a relationship with a company called Virginia Mines who eventually merged with Osisco. And when Osisco saw this project, it was one that resonated very well with them because it's in the same style of geology as uh, their previous deposits. And so they were very interested in putting money into the project. So Osisco is a shareholder, is that correct? They are, they hold about 17% of the company. And can you tell me what, again, what makes it so compelling? I noticed that you just had drilling results, two, uh, two recent announcements, and they, they look quite fascinating to me. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Well, we were in an area that uh, we had sampled back in 2013. This was when we had first gotten the project and we had gotten some pretty good results on surface. There was about seven gram material over six meters and uh, it took us a couple of years to get into the area to drill it. Uh, the first hole we drilled was uh, about eight and a half meters of uh, 13 grams. So that was a good hit and we went underneath that hole and got seven and a half of 23. So this was a, a very high grade result, which is what we expect uh, when we're drilling in these deposits. Well, of course, we've always noticed that when we see funding happening and these kinds of drill results, we were, we were looking at management. In your background, you've taken companies from exploration to PEA to, to selling the company. Yeah, I, I always tell people that my experience is in the back end of projects. So I look at ore resources, major project uh, uh, management, uh, bringing things into development. I've had a fair amount of career in open pit and underground mining. And so I'm very comfortable with bringing a project along uh, to the uh, development stage. I noticed you're in the Northwest Territories and some people may go, okay, that's kind of north. And you know, what kind of advantages do you have being in the Northwest Territories? Well, this isn't like a typical northern project. If you're d dealing with the Northwest Territories, people think of helicopters and, and airstrips and positioning fuel and ice roads. We're right outside the city limits of, uh, of Yellowknife, and Yellowknife is a mining town. So all of our services come out of the city. We live in the city. We travel in and out of the project every day. It's about a 20-minute drive to the center of the project from the, from the city. So this project has infrastructure associated with it that makes exploration a lot easier and, more importantly, a lot cheaper. Well, and of course, you're fully funded for drilling in 2016, correct? Yes, that's right. And what should we as shareholders anticipate moving forward? Well, this year, we've because we had the funding from last year, which gave us uh, the wherewithal to be able to explore the property uh, um, more extensively, we've actually designed a program to test nine different targets this winter. And from that work, we're going to prioritize which ones we want to push out uh, quickest. And of course, the one we just drilled is starting to move right to the top of the list because of those results. And so what you should expect is more drill results over the next couple of months. We have eight more zones to report on. And then following that, we'll be doing a lot of field work in the, in the summertime. Um, for those of you that have been following experts like David Morgan that say we are getting ready for a bull run in gold. Can you tell us a little bit more about the overview and the history of these gold veins that you're actually drilling on? Well, the camp itself is uh, one that's recognized as the highest grade uh, camp in Canada. The two uh, major mines, Con and Giant, mined about 14 million ounces at 16 grams per ton. So. Those are the kind of grades that people rarely see these days, and that's what attracted us to the project in the first place. So we're going to be able to uh, show people these, these kinds of high grades that make these uh, targets attractive. So it's all in the grade? It's in the grade, exactly. 
that's, that's the thing that really drives the project. Joe, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me here.